Hey guys, Dan at Tri-Valley Trainer and Lean Online. Today is the uh, first of a series of videos that I'm going to be presenting that break down individual components of a workout program into cardio, strength, core, and flexibility. And I'm going to do a video, a separate video for each of the four. And um, today what I wanted to do was just give you a, a quick primer uh, about why each is important and how they work together and uh, what I'll be emphasizing when I do each of the individual components. Okay, first of all, cardio, that's primarily for your stamina, for your endurance, and in terms of health and wellness, it's to reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, uh, cholesterol, that sort of thing, uh, so that you are just generally able to do more longer that requires uh, heart and lung uh, effort. Okay, so after that, strength training. Strength training is not to get big and muscular, although some people take it to that extreme and that's, that's fine. But really the main functional benefit of strength training is so that you can produce power and uh, pushes, pulls, um, coming up from the ground, uh, lifting objects over your head from the floor. Uh, also, so that you can stabilize while you're lifting, one of the important benefits of strength training properly, especially with free weights and body weight, is that you learn how to position yourself properly so that you don't put in uh, unnecessary load on the spine or the major joints. So strength training is literally so you have a greater functional capacity to move your body and move objects um, outside your body um, more easily. Okay, uh, core strength and stability, that's really a central component of all movement, everything runs through the core, upper body leverages off the upper, uh, lower body, lower body uh, affects the um, lower body power uh, and application of force affects the uh, load on the upper body and then of course when both are going simultaneously like with rock climbing or swimming or something like that, um, it's all tied together through the core. So the main objective of core work is not to flatten out your belly, although if you're lean and you are um, uh, your muscles are firm and toned, you know, it's, of course it's going to look a little bit better and a little bit more athletic if, uh, if again, you're lean enough to see that. But the main objective really is to protect and support the low back and make all the movements uh, more biomechanically efficient and, again, less stressful on the spine, especially the low spine and um, the major joints. Finally, flexibility. Most people are not balanced in terms of their range of motion. It's very important that shoulders, hips and back especially, and neck to some degree as well, elbows, knees, uh, are able to exploit a full range of motion that that joint is designed to accommodate. And uh, most people from sitting for a long period of time and not um, necessarily moving with a balanced load or with balanced volume do not have a balanced range of motion or balanced uh, muscle strength. And that's really important. That's implicit in everything that we're going to do. I want to keep this to four minutes, so uh, so core work is great to do as a cool down, but you can also intersperse. The only thing is you wouldn't want to do core work, very intense core work, early in the workout where you need that core to stabilize and protect your low back for bigger, heavier lifts. Okay, so those are the four components. Cardio, strength, core, and flexibility. And so over the next few uh, videos, I'm going to present a very simple uh, set of exercises for each that will um, all together give you a nice, uh, well-rounded workout. Okay, take care.